69 News and the WFMC Storm Center Update Network. Your best source for the daycare, business, and school closing information you'll need to plan your day. Storm Center Update has more schools, more information, and is more timely than anyone else in the region. For 18 years, the best source of closing information you can get. We get it first. We do it best. No one else comes close. When winter weather strikes, turn to the WFMC Storm Center Update Network. Get it first. Get it fast. Get it right. Serving eastern Pennsylvania and western New Jersey, this is WFMZ. Good morning, I'm John Jerry with a special 69 News update. A major winter storm is hammering the area right now. Started around 5 o'clock this morning. Let's join our meteorologist, Dead Hannah. He's got details on how much we can expect to get. Thanks very much, John, and hello once again. We're gaining steam once again, getting our energy back together. I didn't do a whole lot of sleeping, as you can imagine. Left last night, very interesting scenario setting up. Let's get off to the weather computer. Be able to tell you kind of what's going on. Now, first off, before we get into the temperatures, let me tell you, National Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning that will be in effect for the rest of the day into tonight. We're expecting a good amount, a healthy amount of snowfall, probably the biggest snowfall certainly that we've seen in the past couple of years. That being said, also we're going to see big problems with the winds today. They're going to continue to pick up an intensity 20 to 30 miles an hour. Now, as we speak, I'm going to go and check out uh, the current observations outside of our studio. We're looking right now at temperature, as you can see, 24 degrees. But winds right now out of the north-northeast, 18 miles an hour. We've got visibility really down there. You're talking about visibility uh, right now about a half a mile in many areas. But what's significant is you factor in that wind with the temperature of 24 degrees, giving us a wind chill right now of 5 degrees above zero. That's what it feels like. Now, that's the temperature. Where do we go from here? What's the satellite? What's the situation? I haven't shown you this satellite all day today. Here's the storm itself. You'll be able to see right there the circulation. And I'm going to add a loop on here so that you'll be able to kind of take a look. We're going on the fly here just to be able to give you an idea. As I'm going along here, I have some different things I want to tell you about. As you can see, the circulation going around that storm. There you go. Right there is the storm itself. The center of low pressure continues to move up to the north. Now, what happened? That's what everybody wants to know. It's a good explanation. I know you're not going to find it anywhere else. I know most meteorologists would tell you just exactly where we're going from here and kind of not explain what happened. I think it's important. I know I would want to know, and I know lots of folks are interested. Last night at 5 and 5.30, we told you that the forecast was basically one inch or less, the possibility of flurries or light snow, and this was going to be really a non-event. This little system was going to scoot. All the computer models had this storm hugging the coast and moving towards the northeast. That would have given the coastal areas three to six inches of snow. That obviously did not happen. What did happen? Well, basically, the computer models were completely wrong. This storm basically moved due north and continues to move due north. It's going to take a bit of a northeasterly component once it gets up towards New England. But i got to tell you this. As it continues to push to the north, we've got heavy bands of precipitation and snow that are moving way back. We were going to be on the northern fringe in that coastal scenario, and that would have just given us just a dusting, maybe an inch, but obviously the heavier bands have now moved well to the west of us. Now, we got really good what's called banding in meteorology, which is the heaviest bands of snow, right now from Harrisburg on up to Scranton, believe it or not. So we've got heavier bands now even to our west. I know in many parts of the viewing area, the heavy snow has kind of tapered up. It's a light snowfall right now. But I think as we get on into the afternoon hours, that will pick up in intensity again as some of these bands work their way through our area. Now, whenever you get a situation like this, oftentimes, look at this, you can see some dry air right in here in the middle of the storm. And some of that dry air sort of is kind of filtering into our area in a sense because we don't have the just serious heavy snowfall that we had earlier. Philadelphia International Airport got five inches of snow in the matter of a two-hour range. And I know that certainly there was a period there this morning where people were picking up three inches of snow an hour. That is snowing at a serious clip. Now, take a look to be able to see one more time here. Here's the circulation around this uh, low pressure system as it continues to move. And while it's gotten a little bit lighter in intensity, don't put your guard down. And typically when this kind of a situation happens where you've got heavy snowfall followed by a period where it kind of lightens up a bit, usually it will pick back up again. That's what we're anticipating. 
And again, as this is an evolving situation, you've got to stay with us as we continue to give you updates. But I can tell you this, that these, some of these bands will get back into the area, circulate back around, but it's, it's going to be variable amounts. So the the uh, snowfall intensity will be variable throughout the course of the day. So it could be light at some times. Other times it could be heavy in almost whiteout conditions, almost blizzard-like conditions as we move through and into the afternoon hours. And you factor in those winds out of the north-northeast, you better believe it will feel significantly cooler than, than what the air temperature is. But in addition to that, we're going to have drifting. Visibility problems will continue to get worse. And by the time it's all said and done, we're going to be looking at a healthy, healthy amount of snow. Now, I want to, this is another addition, and that's why this is such an evolving picture as we go. I want to make something very clear. Our area is obviously a big area, eastern Pennsylvania and into western New Jersey. I want to make this clear that basically what we think is going to happen is that 6 to 12 inches will be the average snowfall amount. When you get into a situation where you have a nor'easter coming up the coast, have the heavy snow, it kind of gets lighter with some of that drier air working in. Usually it picks back up, but it's usually not as intense as it once was. And so what we're suggesting at this point is whatever you have on the ground right now, for example, there are some people, many people right now have four to six inches of snow on the ground right now. I think it's likely and certainly possible that we could pick up another four to six inches as we move into the afternoon and early evening hours. I don't think it's likely to pick up another 12 inches of snow. So we have 12, 6 to 12 inches really for the northern part of our viewing area, and that would include Carbon, uh, Monroe, Warren, and now that's going to be a sensitive area because obviously in the, in the mountain areas now, we've got some heavier banding, so we're going to have to watch that area, but Lehigh, Northampton, 6 to 12 is probably a good call right now, particularly in light of the fact that 4 to 6 is on the ground, and as long as the snow stays kind of on the light side, we're wasting time. So. It will pick up, I believe, later on in the afternoon. You get down Burke, Schuylkill, Chester, Montgomery, Bucks, Hunterdon County. I think 6 to 12 on average is still good, but we have 12 to 18 up there because there's going to be certain areas that get locally heavier amounts. And so we want to cover ourselves. I think, in my mind, the magic number that I have in my mind for really our, our viewing area is about 10 inches. That certainly doesn't mean that some folks can't pick up more than that. It does mean that. It doesn't mean that some folks can't pick up less. It's a tough call to say, this is exactly how much everyone will get because we have so many counties in our viewing area. So we're watching it very carefully. It's a developing situation, which is why it's good for you to keep tuned with us here. And uh, I'll tell you, I've never in my life seen a situation where the forecast has changed so dramatically. But we're going to continue to update the radar, satellite imagery. As this picture continues to change, we'll bring you the very latest here on the Storm Center. We'll do that in just a bit. John, back over to you. All right, thank you very much, Ed. We'll check in again with you in just a few minutes. Obviously, all the snow is creating major problems on local roadways. Let's check in now with traffic to find out what's going on out there. Thank you very much, John. As you can see, uh, things are very quiet out here on 22 for the most part. It looks like uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, but the only thing is we have snow on the roadways. As you can see, the right lane, uh, for the most part, uh, does uh, have uh, their roadway available, but the passing lane at this point snow covered. And we're seeing snow covered roads throughout the region. I-78 pretty much the same, 145, 33. No matter where you're headed, you're going to encounter those snow covered roadways causing problems. In Allentown, the traffic signals at the major intersections are on flash mode. Uh, it's your best bet to treat those as four way stops. Also, looking at Bethlehem, where police have shut down 378, the Wyandotte Street Hill, at between the Five Points area, and we're looking down on the other side of South Mountain towards uh, the Black River Road area. The very treacherous conditions reported there. Looking at uh, some minor problems, uh, let's focus in on um, areas in Lehigh County. We have a disabled vehicle. 145 northbound at the 22 eastbound ramp being reported at this moment. In Northampton uh, County, we're uh, looking at the very treacherous conditions there, very slow moving traffic. We have an accident on 22 eastbound. This is just on the New Jersey side of the toll bridge in Phillipsburg. Uh, things are moving along slow there. Our uh, jackknife tractor trailer, 22. Uh, in the area of 4th Street and Easton, just about cleared up. We do have one lane getting by at this point, and things are improving uh, as far as that incident being cleared up. Let's go out into Berks County right now as we do take a look at situations there. Uh, again, pretty much the same story as in and around our area. Very slow go. Snow covered roadways, Route 61, also 222, 422. No matter where you're headed, you're going to encounter this. A lot of minor fender benders being reported around the area, including the area of Reading. And again, a reminder that BARDA has a specialized van service and Handicap Express bus routes 1, 2, 3, and 4. The Burko and Threshold for today have been canceled. canceled. So uh, that's a uh, heads up for those folks in the area 
Again, if you do have to head out, uh, it should really be only under emergency purposes. Otherwise, your best bet is to stay off the road. Keep your speeds down if you are out there and just tap on those brakes lightly and uh, just travel with extreme caution. Take a few extra things along in the car. Maybe a blanket would be helpful. And eh, so a couple of snack crackers if you get uh, stuck in the traffic there, at least when you have uh, something to munch on while you're sitting there trying to get by. I'm Carl Robb with a special update in the 69 News Trap at Canan Center. John? Thanks very much, Carl. Just a few seconds ago, you saw a plow there on the highway, and we talked to Pendot Cruz several times this morning. They said even though the forecast changed late last night, they still did have all their crews out early this morning just as the storm was starting. But again, the, the snow fell so fast, and uh, since it's going to be all day, they're having trouble keeping up with it. But they are out there working hard. And again, everybody says, emergency officials say, if you don't have to go out, please don't, because the roads are in pretty bad shape. WFMC's Narissa Press, she's been uh, monitoring the storm all morning in Allentown. She's joining us now. Narissa, what's it like out there now? Well, the snow is still falling very hard out here. It's very cold, very windy. My hat is just about to, hood is just about to fly off here. The conditions on the road, still very bad. I see a lot of snow plows out driving by but still as you said it's a good idea to stay inside today very dangerous situation out here i would say we have a good uh, four to five inches of snow on the ground right now a lot of offices and businesses are closing shops a lot of secondary roads are not plowed and very dangerous so again please be careful folks if you have to drive outside you know the rules drive very slow be patient and even if you have a four-wheel drive, I know a lot of people get very confident on the roads during the snow when they have a four-wheel drive. You're no exception. Do not overestimate your capabilities in this kind of weather. Anything goes. Again, another note, I still see a lot of people coming out. I've seen a few kids out here. This is not the kind of snow you want to bring out your kids and, and play in the snow. It is very cold. If you do have to come out, make sure you dress in layers light layers, wear gloves, cover your exposed parts. There isn't a word out in Allentown right now for hypothermia and also frostbite. So it is very important if you do have to go out, again, we're stressing stay inside if you can. If you do have to go out, make sure you are well protected. That's all for now. Reporting live in Allentown, I'm Narisha Press. Back to you in the studio, John. All right. Thank you very much, Narisha. Jim Kirkland from PennDOT is joining us once again now by phone. And Jim, uh, good morning. Good morning. Now, it looks like some of the shots I've been seeing recently, it looks like some of the crews are starting to catch up a little bit with the snow since it's slowed down a little bit. Is that, is that true? Yeah, uh, and that's what we expected. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're at it full blast. And, um, you know, when it's, snowing, when it's snowing as hard as it was earlier, uh, you know, it, it gets a little bit ahead of you just, just by virtue of the volume. Uh, but now that it's backed off just a little bit, we'll get ahead of it. And, uh, and that, I, I, we're, you know, we expect to stay ahead of it from this point on. Although we don't know what's going to happen once this low gets past us, there may be a shot behind it. Now, are you uh, just putting chemicals down the road, or are you just concentrating on plowing right now? Um, we're, 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 our, our focus is plowing, but as, uh, as we plow, we put, uh, we put uh, something down for traction. Um, but, but once again, because of the volume of what has fallen, uh, I don't think folks can reasonably expect to be on bare pavement for, uh, for, for at least for a while. Uh, and that depends on whether it kicks up again uh, with, with heavier snow. Have you had the opportunity to touch any secondary roads now, or are you just concentrating on the major highways? Uh, our, our general plan is, uh, and sometimes mis misunderstood, I have, uh, I have what, the, way we, the way we attack any storm is that we put, we put vehicles on all roads in our county, all the state roads. Uh, there, there are more vehicles on the interstate and the, uh, the uh, limited access highways uh, than there are on the secondary, but there are, but there's service to all roads at all times. All right, and can, can you tell us what condition the most of the roads are in right now? Well, they're snow covered. I have uh, two two uh, difficulties that I'm aware of at this point. Uh, uh, specifically, I've got uh, some trucks hung up on uh, eastbound 78 at Summit Lawn. That's a good place to avoid right now. And uh, also, we've got a couple of trucks hung up on uh, um, Shantz Road. Uh, in between uh, Route 100 and 20, uh, 222. Um, but, but we've been working to open those up, and they should be open shortly, and, um, and then everything will be flowing. All right, Jim, thanks for joining us this morning, and good luck. Okay, thanks a lot. Keep up the good work. Okay, thanks. Well, our Chris Bellardi, he spent most of his morning trying to get to work, and he made it to the R. Redding offices, and he's joining us now live from Redding. Chris, there he is. Chris, can you tell us? What's it like in Reading, and how was the ride down there? What were the roads like? Well, the ride down was long, I can tell you that. It was really slow. Probably didn't get above 25, 20 miles per hour the whole ride in this morning. 
pretty much on those two lane highways, two lane uh, local roads here. It's one lane of traffic getting through. If you can get behind a snowplow, you're lucky because they're clearing the path. We heard Jim Kirkland saying, saying it from PennDOT that it's really hard for these plows to keep up with the snow today. And even with the snow letting up a little bit, we're finding here it's blowing really hard. So as soon as the plows come through and plow it off, the wind is blowing the snow right back over the roads. So it is certainly a slow go on, on roads here in Berks County. As you would imagine, all schools here in Berks County are closed today. They saw the snow start to fall before dawn and thought, this is going to be a bad one, and they uh, they canceled school. I want to update you on the transportation situation as well. We have a note from BARDA. Um, this, this morning, BARDA's specialized van service, except for the dialysis pickups, are all canceled. Also, the handicapped express bus, bus routes 1, 2, 3, and 4 are also canceled. Otherwise, there is a normal schedule, and, and uh, BARDA is still trying to figure out what it's going to do tonight. Up at the airport, as you can imagine, all this snow is creating some problems for Reading Regional Airport as well today. And uh, up there, the flights to Philadelphia, all the commercial flights, those are canceled. We have not seen very many of those. The signs all say it up at the airport today, canceled. Although the airport is telling us that some of the local flights are taking off. Some of the com uh, non-commercial jetliners, the private jets, have been trying to take off. But uh, plows are out there trying to clear the runways to get things back up to normal as, as much as possible. But certainly, delays and cancellations abound at Reading Regional Airport. So again, the situation here in Reading, the snow continues to fall. And when it's not falling, if it's not falling, it's certainly blowing, and it seems to be coming down sideways at times. So certainly a, a tough day to be out on the road. They're trying to clear them as fast as they can, but uh, it's, a, it's a real slow go. So if you do have to go out, certainly as Narisa and everyone has been saying all morning, and as I'm sure you know, take your time. That's the story here live on Penn Street. I'm Chris Velarde. John, back to you. All right, thanks, Chris. We'll check in with you again very soon. We just talked to uh, Jim Kirkland from PennDOT in Lehigh County. Now we've got Dave Cummings from PennDOT down in Berks County joining us by phone. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Now, can you tell us, we heard that uh, in Lehigh County, at least the crews are finally starting to catch up with the snow a little bit. What's it like down in Berks County? Well, it does seem like we uh, the snow's tapered off a little bit right now. So, you know, within the next hour or so, we should also get caught up. We have our train plows out, you know, plowing together, and uh, should get a, a lot of the snow off the roads pretty quick now. And can you tell us, when did your crews get out there this morning? Did the, the late forecast change, does that affect you at all? No, we were out um, between 4 and 5 this morning. Um, we have radio shifts on, and we were actually, we watched the weather 24 hours a day through the winter, and, you know, our radio operator just put our uh, our action into motion. And what, what condition would you say the roads in are in in Berks County right now? Uh, the roads are all snow-covered. Uh, the ramps have a little bit of buildup on them, um, but, you know, we'll be at it all day, and, you know, we'll continue, and we'll get caught up until... Um, you know, we'll see if it picks up a little bit later. If it stays like this, we'll be uh, in real good shape. All right, Dave, thank you very much, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Today. Well, from AccuWeather, ahead of AccuWeather in State College, says this is a nor'easter with a capital N, and our Ed Hannison following this big nor'easter. He's joining us now with the lightning. Thanks very much, and once again, hi there, my friends. Hope you're having a great day. We've been following this storm ever so carefully. Let's get off of the weather computer real quickly. I'm going to bump us real here quickly here to the... Temperatures. Here's where we are. We've gone up a few degrees since even when we talked just a couple of minutes ago. 25 in Berks County, 26 really in the Lehigh Valley region. So we've gone up about two degrees. 17 still in the Poconos. That's where it's been most of the morning. 28. Bucks, Montgomery, Chester, Delaware County is on into Philadelphia. 30 in western New Jersey. Now let's see where we are by way of wind. I'm going to pull that up real quickly here and give you some idea of where we are wind-wise. 18 miles an hour out of the north northeast. We have a wind chill of 5 degrees. That's what it feels like, 5 degrees above zero. When you factor in that uh, air temperature of 26 and basically factor in the winds out of the uh, north-northwest 18. We expect those winds, as this storm continues, to push through the area to pick up 20 to 30 miles an hour. So that, uh, any kind of blowing wind that you've got right now, that's going to probably get to worse as we move on through here. We get, uh, I believe we have some video here that I'm um, being told in my ear. Let's check it out. You'll be able to see this is a live shot right now of Reading, a Penn Street studio in Reading. Right outside on Penn Street, you can clearly see what's happening. The traffic is getting around and getting through. And i got to tell you, something else that's very interesting. Now, we do have white snow. You can see clearly falling there. Do we have any other cameras that we can go to here? We'll be able to get to uh, here. you got one right now. And this is, I believe, off of 4th Street in Allentown. Yeah, I believe that's 4th Street in Allentown. You can see... Now, the snowfall intensity is picking up, and that's what I want to focus in on. 
there's some, been some pockets here in precipitation, which you'll be able to see on the Doppler radar, some dry pockets that have worked in. And I know a lot of folks are going to let their guard down. As we said, and I've continued to say over the morning, I want you to understand that this is an evolving, developing situation that we've got to watch very carefully. As, as you know, we were caught off guard with this storm. The storm basically, in a nutshell, took a northerly track rather than northeast, and for the most part, it just continues to plow to the north. Interestingly enough, we were supposed to be just on the western edge. You don't going to pick up maybe an inch or a little bit less of snow. And as it turns out right now, the heavier bands of snow that move through here have moved off to our west and northwest. If you draw a line from Scranton back down to Harrisburg, right now that's where the heavier bands are set up. But that's not to say that uh, although things have kind of gotten a little bit lighter snow-wise here, that's not to say that we won't get more of this heavier banding in our area and I think that certainly will be the case as we move throughout the afternoon hours. You can see the circulation here. This was a, of some concern. This area right there of dry air working in and that cut to off the precipitation in coastal New Jersey on in towards uh, below Philadelphia. As a matter of fact, temperatures warmed up just a little bit. The profile, the temperature basically that being the temperature at the surface on up to have a layer of obviously cool shallow air uh, that's cold at the surface, and then a little bit warmer air above that, and basically we had some freezing rain and sleet mixing in at the Philadelphia uh, airport. But uh, we got light snow basically has taken back over, and actually it's picking up to be a little bit more moderate now throughout the area as we got some more of these bands moving through the area. Now let's get off of the Doppler radar. Here's what you can see, and look at this. You can see these little pockets, these kind of cracks in the Doppler radar. This band right here is a real hefty band, but you can clearly see that we've got some more banding that continues to push up and into our area. We expect this to continue to fill in, but that's not to say that we won't see the snowfall in varying rates throughout the course of the afternoon. So that's what we're going to be calling for throughout the afternoon. Even though things may get a bit lighter, it can pick up in intensity, and we can get back to those almost blizzard-like conditions, especially when you factor in winds. 20 to 30 miles an hour. Some, uh, basically, you have major areas that report what are called hourly observations, and some areas are reporting now their conditions as blowing snow, which basically doesn't necessarily mean snow is falling from the sky. They can be in one of those lulls that we're talking about, where the uh, snow has kind of lightened up and it's not really falling all that heavy, but it, the winds are kicking up so much, and that's going to continue to intensify throughout the day that uh, it, it just creates a visibility problem in and of itself with the wind blowing the snow. Let's take a look. This is basically what we're going to be going with as far as the forecast. I think we've fine-tuned this a little bit. 6 to 12 inches. I know National Weather Service has a winter storm warning in effect for the rest of the day into tonight. I know it's their feeling that the southern portions of our viewing area, Bucks, Montgomery, Chester, Philadelphia, Delaware, is going to pick up, they're saying, 12 to 18. I think it's a better guesstimate right now at this point looking at everything we're checking out and looking at how things have gotten a little lighter we've got a couple of those cracks in the doppler radar we expect bands to continue to move through the afternoon we expect more snow depending on what you have on the ground right now and most folks right now have probably four to six inches that's the reports that we're getting about four to six on the ground right now i think it's really very likely or very possible i should say depending on what happens here that we could pick up another maybe four to six in most of those areas. I don't think it's likely at this point that we pick up the snow to the point where we pick up another 12. I think that at this point, that's unlikely. Certainly possible, but at this point, unlikely. So I think six to 12 is probably gonna be the final accumulated accumulations. Uh, by the time it's all said and done, it's certainly possible. And I wanna stress, it is possible that some folks could pick up locally heavier amounts, closer to maybe you know 14 to 18 in some spots, the Pocono region, so they're getting some heavy banding right now. So they could see some heavier amounts there. Also some other areas as well. So it is possible, that it's even possible that a couple of, of small or remote areas don't even get the six, get maybe five inches. So we're watching it, it's developing. We're gonna continue, the best way to do this is to continue to watch the satellite and radar. And obviously we're gonna to continue to update you here in the Storm Center, 69 News. John, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Ed. Well, we've been uh, telling you about the conditions, road conditions in the Lehigh Valley and Berks County. Our WFMC's Rob Vaughn has been uh, touring roads down in Montgomery County this morning. He's joining us live now by phone. Rob, what's it like down there? Hi, John. It's uh, not too bad. Uh, the roads from Upper Montgomery and through Upper Bucks County um, are passable. Uh, varying road surfaces. As we came up Route 309 north of Quakertown just a few minutes ago, 
uh, it was snow covered and you effectively had one lane in each direction, even though that's a two lane highway in each direction. And some places you could see pavements and other places it was uh, snow covered. Uh, for whatever uh, reason, uh, prior to that, Route 663 between Quakertown and the Upper Perkiomen area seemed a bit more clear and you could see pretty much pavement all the way. And uh, we were also at that time, which would be about 45 minutes an hour ago, uh, in one of those lulls Ed was just talking about where the snow actually got pretty light. And it actually was pretty nice out there, and there was some light traffic. Uh, we came closer to Allentown, and now we're in South Gray Township, uh, Lehigh County, just south of the city of Allentown. And the snow has once again turned light after having been heavy a few minutes ago. So it's uh, very changeable out here. It's traffic light, and that's uh, as it should be. Most people seem to be staying home. We've had some business parks along the way, up uh, 309 and 663. We get a few cars in those places. Most folks are home. Plow jockeys are out there working pretty hard, of course. We just passed a bit of a plow convoy going south on 309. The three plows were together to uh, clear the highway, and they're doing a pretty good job of that. Uh, again, it's pretty light snow now here in uh, Salisbury Township. Not anything like it was at uh, about 7 o'clock this morning. If you were up then, you saw those blizzard-like conditions. It was hard to keep your windshield clear, hard to maneuver on the road at all. We also passed a few spots of abandoned cars off to the side of the road and the ditch on, on the berm on 309 and 663. And no, doubt, no doubt those cars were struggling at that 7 or 8 o'clock hour when it was really tough out there. Uh, things are still a little dicey if you're out there. Some cars are zipping by on Route 145 now, going pretty quickly, actually. Uh, you don't want to do that. Some folks inevitably do that, so just uh, watch out. Uh, one thing to uh, observe that on a positive note of all this is that... Uh, it's really beautiful on some of the uh, side roads and off of Route 663 because the wind's been blowing so hard. Um, one side of the tree is pretty much clear, one uh, evergreen I'm talking about, and the other side full of snow gives you the effect of a painting. Um, the best thing probably, though, to do is to uh, enjoy the scenic view from your living room window if you can, <laughs> rather than get out and have to be in it. So uh, people are getting by. If you do have to go out, uh, just take it slow. You'll need to leave, oh, at least twice as much time as you normally uh, take to get someplace, but uh, you can get around if you have to. Stay home uh, would be the best advice, though. So. John? All right, Rob, some very good advice, and it sounds like we'll be seeing you here at the station very soon. See you soon. All right, thank you very much. And many areas have declared snow emergencies. You see them at the bottom of your screen along with the school closings. Now, at the end of uh, every, at the top of every hour and at the bottom of every hour, we're going to show you an extensive list of businesses and daycares that are closed. That's coming up in just a couple of minutes. We'll be back at 11. We're the latest on this winter storm. We'll see you then.